Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I sat down today and was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my makeup, talk to my friends, tell you guys like what I've been up to, things that I've been changing in my day-to-day -day life, my routines. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. This is my robe that if you saw on my reels, I spilled my favorite beauty blender skin tint all over it, but thankfully it came out. This is my my bra hi how you doing it's just a bra though it's not that serious but it's fleece inside girl you need to go and get yourself one i think they sell them at nordstrom instead of like doing the whole new year new me kind of thing i just want to be a better version of me so i'm on this journey of like being more in tune with myself. I've struggled with anxiety my entire life. My anxiety kind of causes me to always be thinking of the next step because that's just like how my brain works. I'm like, what are we doing today in order to better our tomorrow, in order to better our future, so on and so forth. And you might think like, oh my God, that's a great thing. I'm like living in the future in my brain, but I'm not in the future. And like not to be morbid or anything, but who's to say I'm even gonna make it that far ahead? to the future. So I'm trying to just do things that make me more present, have a little bit more gratitude and look around at what I have and what's important to me and what's not. I am like so sick of going on Instagram or like TikTok or YouTube, whatever. And like all of these people, no shade to them, but they do these, my morning routines, and it's like they wake up early, they work out, eat healthy, make smoothies, and just to like sit at home all day. I need something that's more relatable. I need a commuters get ready with me. And I think that there is a niche for that in social media because I'm not like every other social media person. Like newsflash guys, in case you didn't know, this is not my full-time gig. This does not pay for the bills. This pays for absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, I hate commuting. I commute to New York City and I'm kind of over it, but whatever it is what it is. But where I normally would just like roll out of bed, get ready and rush to work. I wake up, get a cup of coffee, sit down over there, journal. I'll do like a five to 10 minute meditation. And then after that, I'll use my new face device and do like a nice hydrating mask on my face. Other mornings I'll wake up and work out and do like a 30 minute workout, 10 minute yoga. I'm tired of rushing. I kind of feel like I'm rushing my life away. I'm not only physically rushing, but I'm mentally rushing to the next thing because we just talked about my anxiety. I'm just trying to calm down. And like I said, be more present and just breathe. I never talk to you guys about Italy. Italy was life-changing. I had the best time ever. Mike and I went all over. We went to Venice, which Venice was my favorite place that we went to. Um, I loved it. It was like super quaint. We went to Rome, Florence, Capri. Well, we did a day in Capri. We stayed in Positano. I never in my life have had so much fun. I will trade in my entire four-year college experience, including my spring break trip to Cancun, to go back to Italy for two and a half weeks and relive that experience. I could cry thinking about it. It was just like such a life-changing experience for me. Oh my God, don't get upset. I don't know why I'm getting upset. You know why I'm getting upset? Because I don't wanna be here. I really just wanna live in Italy. So I had saved all of this money to go to Italy in 2020 and then had another year to save more money. So I was like ready. I'm like, this is it. I saved a shit ton of money for this trip. I'm just gonna go all out balls to the wall. Granted, I really didn't, like I did not. In the grand scheme of things, I really didn't spend that much money, but I had no problem treating myself. Every city we went to, I bought a new bracelet. Every day when I get ready, I put my bracelets on and I cannot tell you because I don't wanna go to work any day. No, thank you. It makes me so much happier. And then like throughout the day, I can like look at my arm and then I start daydreaming of like Italy and then I pull up pictures on my phone. Yes, I'm living in the past. So I have this problem now. I was living in the future constantly and now I'm living in the past and also in the future. I'm just, I'm really trying to live in the present, but it's very hard. But I will say, okay, so getting back to that, I feel very scatterbrained. I'm sorry, this is kind of like everywhere this video. I've been meditating five to 10 minutes every day has been so good for me and also yoga my body doesn't hurt as much i feel like when i work out every day i'm not as sore it makes me more excited for my workouts i used to live in an apartment by myself brogan and i if you don't know my cat let's insert a photo or a video of my cat because he's so fucking cute i love him my little tuxedo man i used to go to the gym all the time maria she was an instructor at the gym i went to oh my god she was freaking amazing i went to all of her pilates and yoga classes and then I moved away. I now live about 35, 40 minutes from where I used to live. So I don't go to the gym anymore. We converted the basement to be a gym. And I got really into weightlifting and I 
got super into Sydney Cummings, who is here on YouTube. I love her. I just want something a little bit like gentler on my body. I used to do like 30 to 60 minutes of a workout, but I've only been doing 30 minute workouts this year. That kind of gives me more leeway, more time to do yoga. So I'll do a 30 minute workout and then like a 10 minute, 15 minute yoga. And guys, it has like really been life changing for me. I feel so much better. It's really helped me with my anxiety. I'm sitting here today and it's 2.30 and normally, oh, that's a lot of blush. Normally I would not film this until like six o'clock at night when the sun was like totally down because I'm like a last minute kind of chick. I procrastinate everything. Like I get everything done. Last moment, don't have a lot of time to think about it, go. Like that's that's been my mentality. But the yoga and the meditation, I just like take a deep breath. Like today, I did not want to film this. And while I was in the shower, I started doing my deep breaths and thinking like, I'm going to have a good day. I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to do my makeup like I would do my makeup any other day. Chat with my friends. It's going to be a good time. And I'm, you know, I'm doing my makeup anyway. Why not? propel myself forward, create more content. Being one with your breath. The other day I full on was like about to have a panic attack at work over like the dumbest thing. I was just, I wasn't having a good day and every little thing was bothering me. You know, you know what that day is like, right? We've all had those days. I went to the bathroom. I took five deep breaths in through my nose. Hold. Out through my mouth and it just like, kind of put everything back into perspective of this isn't that big of a deal. What you're freaking out about, you know, in the grand scheme of things is nothing. You have your health, you have your family. What's the big deal? And it's like, really, it's been really, really, really life-changing for me. I can't say enough good things about it. I also made a little inspiration board, which I've never done. Well, I don't want to say never. I have not done an inspiration board probably since high school. So I decided that I was going to do one because I had some time off in between Christmas and New Year's. And I was like, oh, I'll just do one. Let me go grab it. I went through a bunch of magazines and just was like, what do I want to do this year? I have balance because I just need a little bit more work-life balance, which I really pushed for last year, trying to work from home an extra day a week. And yeah, I just want to also not only like work life, but kind of like be more present. Like I said, I need more like balance in my brain. So that's one land of plenty because I have this kind of like roadblock in my head. I tell myself a lot that things aren't meant for me. They're meant for other people. So I put land of plenty. Closer to you, I put here because I want to build closer relationships with people in my life. I let life get in the way often and I need to pick up the phone and say hello more. Change starts with you. I need to change. Like I said, yoga, meditation, changing. Bright future, kind of just reinstalling the land of plenty. Like believe in myself, you can do it. Self-compassion. I need to be nicer to myself. I need to be less self-critical. So can you, again, so can I. Anyone can do it. Anyone can make it. It just takes hard work and consistency. That's what I'm telling myself. And when you're forced to stop, you see clearly what's in front of you, what's really important. Like I just said, being in the moment, taking a deep breath, that kind of thing. Money. I love money. I've always loved money, but I have this like roadblock in my mind about money. I think that it's like too hard to make. And so I play it safe and I want to stop playing it safe. 7.30 a.m. I do wake up early to go to work. However, I told you I've been waking up at the ass crack of dawn to do more things. So I just want to be more of a morning person so that I can fill my day with more things that I love. Work like work it though, like work hard this year towards my goals, towards becoming an entrepreneur. I feel no anxiety. That may not ever happen, but I want to feel as little anxiety as physically possible. Fitness, wellness, happiness. Fitness has never been a problem. I've been eating kind of crappy lately. I haven't been happy because I've had so much anxiety that I've just let it stop me from being my best version. Secondhand, I want to thrift this year. I'm really into the whole recycling, not buying new, going through things that I own, that kind of like mentality. I don't want to waste. And I want to get into like vintage shopping. I've been selling things on Poshmark for a little bit over a year now. My sister-in-law, Kelly, always sells things on Poshmark and she showed me like how much money she's made off of Poshmark which is wild and I've been looking at a lot of like vintage Louis Vuitton and like Gucci things and it's just like very nostalgic to me. I am a handbag 
fanatic. I don't have a lot of handbags. Mike bought me a YSL bag for my birthday the year of COVID and she didn't, granted, you know, she didn't really see the light of day for the first year of her life, but I effing love her. The second like designer bag I got, I bought myself for Italy actually, my Valentino bag. She's so beautiful. She's very, very tiny. Um, I can barely fit anything in her, which was a problem when I went to Italy, but then riddle me this. We were by the Spanish steps. Where are the Spanish steps? In Rome, I found the cutest little bag. I will actually grab her because she sits in here. I am so in love with her. But so Mike and I went to the Spanish steps and then they have like this strip and I saw not specifically her, but I saw bags like this in the window. Like, oh, oh my God. She is a beauty, like beautiful. And I just saw this and like structured bags are really in, small bags are really in. And I was like, Michael, we need to go inside. And she has this cute little top handle, crossbody option too. You can take this off. I don't know why I'm selling her, um, but they do sell them online, which I was kind of bummed about because I was like, oh my God, I bought it and was like, yes, Italy bag. No one can ever get this. I, granted, I've never seen anyone with this, but I will link this bag down below. If I ever see you in life and you're wearing this bag, just hide it because I agree with Drake. Imitation isn't flattery. It's just annoying me. Some things I don't care. Don't let me see it if you buy this, but tell me if you bought it. But if you run into me and I'm wearing it, don't show it to me because I'll be upset because I want to be the only boss bitch with this bag on in the room. But yeah, so I brought my little Valentino bag to Italy and was like, oh my God, this fits absolutely nothing. Guys, this doesn't even fit my phone in it. I have right now a tampon and two lipsticks. And then I have like a little Louis Vuitton wallet that I bought in Italy as well that fits in here. We went to the store because I saw this bag and it was really actually hysterical. Not hysterical, it was really cute and also funny. But we walked by, it was like, Michael, we need to go in that store. And he was like, I know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? And I was like, I don't know, tell me what you're thinking. And he was like, that bag in the window, it screams Aunt Debbie. And I was like, oh my God, yes. So we went in and you know how this goes? Cause you know how I am. We went in and I found a really pretty like dark blue bag, same exact size I bought for my aunt. And then I was like, you know what they say, when in Rome, why not buy yourself a bag too? So I bought myself a cute little gray one. We get home and I go to wear it and it doesn't fit like anything in it. And I love it and I will forgive it because it's just so beautiful and like makes me think of Italy. Like I've just, I've had so many flashbacks from that trip, just like talking about it. And it makes me so fucking happy. I'm very upset that Tati Beauty is gone. I would have bought another one of these. This formulation is so freaking good. Like it's so good. It's like fucking butter. The power in letting things go and knowing that whatever is going to happen is for the right reason. My anxiety, I need to let things go. Also closet. I have a lot of accessories. My accessories are on point. My jewelry collection, amazing. My bag collection, amazing. My shoe collection, even the most amazing. However, I have no clothes. So this year I'm going to commit to building out my wardrobe and getting my life together because I'm sick of going in my closet and being like, I have nothing to wear because guys, I genuinely sold a lot of stuff on Poshmark. I've donated so much clothing that there's like nothing in my closet and I legit have nothing to wear. Community, I want to be more present with you guys. I want to share more. I want to open up a little bit more and I want this to feel like somewhere where we can just be ourselves, do our makeup, not feel judged and just learn from one another. I feel like I'm pretty deep a lot of the time. By myself, but I want to be deeper with other people. So that's why I put community here. Tying the knot, I'm putting that into the universe because F COVID, I've had enough of you. And so we're gonna have our reception. I'm already married. Mike and I will have been married for a year and a half by the time we actually have our reception. And then here's a picture of a woman holding up a sign and it says, sending love to our neighbors from a distance because I want to be leading with light and love. I wanna be a nicer person. I don't really think that I'm mean. When people are mean to me, I don't wanna be as reactive as I usually am. I'm a very reactive person. I'm aggressive when I'm activated. What is that Joe? Is it Summer House in the commercial where she's like, don't activate me or you act, I don't know. I just, I don't wanna be activated. I don't wanna be reactive. I want to take a minute to breathe. Meditation, picture of a girl doing yoga because I wanna meditate and do more yoga, which we already talked about. Last but not least, I put dreaming out loud because I just want to believe in myself again. So I look at this every night before I go to bed, remember what's important before going to bed so that I don't have anxiety before going to bed, most importantly. But this mascara, if I believe in anything, it's this mascara. Oh my God, it's so fucking good. 
look at this sweater. I bought this at Madewell. I told you guys, I'm trying to up my closet. I always do this thing where I buy things online and I spend like a thousand plus dollars on 17 plus things and then I return everything but one. It's just, it's awful. But then I try to go to stores and try things on and I have like no motivation. The makeup of my body, I'm very like narrow, like super tiny up top. A lot of things don't fit me up top but then are too tight on the bottom. It's like very weird and also highly annoying. Like I just want to be inspired to get dressed every day because lately I've just, the days that I don't have to get dressed, I just wear pajamas or like workout clothes. I like the summer and the spring months better just like in general because they're happier but also like I just like being able to throw on a dress and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Um, whereas now like layering, I'm not like fashionable enough. I also am a hoe. I like to wear little to no clothing. I don't, it's just, just I don't, like a sweater to me, it's very like matronly. And now that I'm 30, I mean, I think you can wear whatever you want at any age so long as it makes you happy. But I need to be like a little bit more less hoey. Not now, but I feel like the years are coming upon me, you know? I mean, I could be like Kim Kardashian. I could be like a 40 year old thought and I would live for it. And that will, in all honesty, probably be me. Um, but I'm trying to like pull the thought shit back. I look really good in the camera. I don't feel as though I look this amazing in real life, but hey, I feel a lot prettier than I felt an hour and a half ago because I'm pretty sure that's how long it took me to film this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section anything you guys want to talk about in relation to what I said today. Do you like these chit chat get ready with me? If you do, ask me some questions. Leave me some topics that you would like me to cover in my next one because this was a lot of fun. Like I really enjoyed just sitting here and not talking about makeup for once and just talking about things and I really think I enjoyed myself because we talked a lot about Italy and it made me like go back in time to a very happy place where I was just like living my best and had no responsibilities other than to feed myself, drink lots of wine, and just keep myself alive. I had a wonderful time. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you haven't done so yet and also check out some of these videos that I'm going to leave on the screen for you guys in case you would like to watch some more. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.